hey guys welcome to this video and in this video i am going to be focusing on uh, some of the features that i feel are missing from samsung galaxy note 8 uh, so now let me just put this in context a little bit uh, previously i had been using uh, oneplus 3d for six eight months and there were some features on that phone that i felt uh, that really made my uh, usage of my smartphone really convenient and i really liked those features so once I started using Samsung Galaxy Note 8, I started missing those features because uh, they provided instant functionality on OnePlus 3T and I wish they were here. Now here I must tell you that you can get most of these features by downloading third party apps from the Play Store. Uh, but the point here is that uh, you don't get the seamless experience or seamless integration of these features into the software as compared to the ones that are built into the software by the manufacturer. So you end up downloading third party apps from the Play Store just to get one feature. So let's just get to it and take a look at these five features that I feel are missing from Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now the number one feature that I really miss is the screen of gestures. So if the screen is off, we do get always on display and that's good. You get to see your time and date and battery percentage and if you're playing your music, you can double tap on it to get to your music controller and to get to your uh, calendar and stuff like that. But that's about it. There are no screen of gestures here which I really uh, miss. Because on my OnePlus 3T, they provide an instant functionality. So if I draw a V on an off screen, it would turn on the flashlight. So it's instant functionality and easy access to flashlight. And then if I draw an O, that would launch a camera. So these are the features and then you can obviously change these features and you can manage them and set your own shortcuts but I really wish that they were present on uh, Note 8 as well. Now let's talk about the next feature that I feel should have been here in the first place and that is related to the navigation bar. So we do get on screen navigation buttons this time and you can edit it and you can change the sequence by going into the settings and going in display and in display you go in navigation bar and you can change the sequence from here so you can go back home and recents or recents home and back but i wish that there was this option to add one more button here to pull down the notification panel now granted that you do have an option to uh, you know swipe down on the home screen to pull down the notification panel and you can also swipe down on the fingerprint scanner to pull down the notification panel but both experiences are cumbersome because if you're using a home screen to pull down a notification panel that only works on the home screen so if you're using an app there is no way to do that also using the fingerprint scanner to pull down the notification panel doesn't work seamlessly because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you have to try two three times to pull down the notification shade and that is just annoying so i guess that it makes sense that you give people the choice to add one more button in the navigation bar which works from every screen and which works all the time it's just more seamless and functionality is much more better and that brings me to the fingerprint gestures now we have a fingerprint at the back and it supports only one gesture that i've already told you you swipe down on it and it pulls down the notification panel but that's about it there is no other functionality no other gesture related to it i wish there was an option to tap on it to take a selfie or take a photo tap on it to pick a call tap on it to cancel a call just like we get on huawei phones I wish Samsung could have implemented more functionality to it. And there is this one really annoying feature. If you go in camera settings and go in front camera settings and you go in shooting methods, here you can tap on the screen to take the photo, you can show your palm to take a photo and then you can tap on the heart rate sensor to take a photo. I wish they could have implemented a fingerprint scanner tap to take a photo because you know uh, tapping on the fingerprint scanner is still easier than tapping on the heart rate sensor because there is no distinction between the cameras and the heart rate sensor and it is really difficult to tap on it. Now let's move on and talk about this fourth feature that I feel should have been integrated in the software of this phone and that is the app locker. We get a fingerprint scanner, we get an iris scanner but there is no way to lock apps on Node 8. When Samsung is putting ton load of other features on this phone why not just an app locker to work seamlessly with the security features of the phone so i do wish that they add this functionality in upcoming software updates because uh it's nothing that they can't do and with having all the other security features uh in uh, lock screen and security you've got ton of features this wouldn't hurt anyone and provides a much more seamless experience on the phone 
Now let me just talk about this last feature that I wish was here and it's screen recorder feature. Now even Apple has implemented it in iOS 11 on an iPhone so you can record your screen on an iPhone but we still have to download a third party app on Note 8 to make this feature work. And the most annoying thing is that you have this feature for games so you can record your own screen while playing games but you can't do it system wise which uh, I just don't understand why so if I launch a game here uh, we get this uh, game tools feature here where you can simply record your own uh, screen so there you go if I tap on it I, it will start recording and if I go in settings and go in record video settings it allows me to select an image while recording the screen select camera front camera to record myself or no camera at all and then it allows me to select audio source whether I want to record my own voice or the game sound and then it also allows me to select resolution and bitrate but unfortunately this system is only limited to the games I don't understand why it's not there for system wise screen recording so if you want to screen record otherwise on your note phone you have to go in the play store and download a third party app so that's about it from this video guys uh, I want to know if you feel any features are missing from node 8 or if you agree with me or don't agree with me I would like to know and that's about it from this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video guys till then take care bye bye